Welcome to lesson 120 of Saxon Math Course 2. You have done it. You have reached the last lesson of this great math program. This lesson we're going to talk about graphing nonlinear equations. All right, let's do it. Let's do our final lesson. Okay, so in this lesson we're going to talk about dependent variables, independent variables. So a dependent variable is going to rely upon something else happening, and independent variable is not. We're going to talk about linear equations, linear being a straight line, and nonlinear equations meaning it doesn't have a straight line, it's a curved line. All right, so equations are both linear and nonlinear. Like I said in rule in lesson 19, we, we saw that, that we had, you know, in the first quadrant we had nonlinear curves, right? We did, we did this kind of stuff here that's nonlinear where this is very linear, okay? So let's go ahead and do one. It says graph y equals x to the 2. Well, this should be pretty easy. We're just going to plug and chug here. So for x, we're going to put in a number, and it's going to tell us what y is. So if we put in 0, 0 times 0 is 0. So we go ahead and we plot that. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. That all works, but remember with, when we square stuff, we also can do the negative numbers. So let's go ahead and do our negative numbers. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So when we plot all of these, look what we get. Look what our line does. Look at that. That's a little bit of a different graph than what you're used to seeing, isn't it? Okay, so that's very nonlinear. But that's, how, that's what that graph would look like based off this equation. All right, so this so you've got when you're looking at this here, the y is the dependent variable, the x is independent. We can put anything in for x, and that will create a y for us. So y is dependent on what we put in for x, and that's the difference between y independent variables and dependent variables. So in the same equation, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and plug some stuff in. Let's plug in our positive numbers. Let's let's start with easy numbers like number one. Okay, we can't use zero, right? can't use 0 because we can't divide by 0. So it's impossible to use 0. So we're going to start with 1. That's going to be our easiest one. Put a 1 in there, and we're going to end up with 6 because 6 divided by 1 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we've got, there's our positive numbers. Now let's do our negative numbers. Put in a negative 1, we get a negative 6. Put in a negative 2, we get a negative 3. All of these numbers just become negative, right? Put in a negative 6, we get a negative 1. Now let's graph it. Okay, see what it looks like. What do you think it's going to look like? You think it'll look like the last one we did? I don't know. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got 1 and 6. So there's 1 and 6 right there. We've got 2 and 3, 2 and 3 right there. We've got 3 and 2 right there. And we've got 6 and 1 right there. Oh, wow. That doesn't look like a line, does it? But it is. You're just not you're just not seeing it. Let me draw it for you. Let's try that again. Let me try it one more time. There, can you see it now? There we go. Okay, now let's put in our negatives. Negative one and negative six. Negative two and negative three. Negative three and negative two and negative 6 and negative 1. All right, and we get the same thing on this side here. All right? That's, that's, that's the graph for this problem right here. That's what it looks like. Okay? Very nonlinear, very new. Uh, you'll get a chance to do a lot of these in Math 8, Saxon Math Course 3. No practice sets. There's your TIDs. Thanks for hanging with me all year long. Uh, let's do one last lesson, then we'll get to review for the rest of our time and really sharpen our tools in our belt and, and get really good at this math. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow in class.